The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, "You must be born. You 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 must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you will and you can hear the sound it comes." But you do not know where it comes from or where or where it goes so it is with everyone who is born of the spirit Nicodemus answered and said to him how can this happen Jesus answered and said to him you are the teacher of Israel and you do not understand this Amen amen I say to you we speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen but you people do not accept our testimony if i tell you about earthly things and you do not believe how will you believe if i tell you about heavenly things No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven the son of man and the Genesis Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert so must the son of man be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life the gospel of the lord Praise to you Lord Jesus Christ. Take your seats for a moment because it is the time in this part of our celebration to meditate on the message that is given to us on this day of the week and we we heard about Nicodemus who was official he worked for the government he was a member of Sanhedrin and he approach Jesus and look how wonderful Jesus was by using by and engaging him in conversation Jesus appeared to the people and he taught them in many ways he talked to the people in parables and also Jesus gave people a speech like for instance about the beatitudes Jesus also perform a miracle that people may come to believe and also Jesus engage people in conversation and you know that he have conversation with a woman of Samaria we know that he had many conversation with Pharisees and today we heard conversation of Jesus and Nicodemus and Nicodemus was a man who was also like each one of us was looking for Jesus he heard about him but he did not have personal experience of Jesus so therefore by engaging him Jesus helped him to understand where Jesus come from and what was his role in the world in the history of the world and what is the role of Jesus Christ in the personal life of each one of us and in order to experience Jesus Christ or to feel his presence we have to go through some kind of reset transformation we have to Jesus is using these words you have to be reborn we have been born we have been placed in a special cultural context or political context or we have been placed in our you know with some kind of tradition and we take that this is right to be in this situation status quo we call this so i'm feel comfortable with the situation that my predecessor that my church that the teaching of the church set me down it is official way of life thinking acting and it seems that it is very normal life for us but jesus is challenging us jesus challenged nicodemus and he said to him you must change yourself you must 
be born again to a new situation. You have to be born again to a new world that exists after my resurrection. And the new world that Jesus created, my dear friends, is extended for eternity. So this is one aspect of new life that now we have to believe and Nicodemus has to believe that there is life after that. But also here on earth, you have to live. And again, in the first reading, we, we read about communal, taking care of the communal wealth of the people. And to do this, you know, you have to, you have to have confidence. You have to have trust that everything that you give to Jesus, to his brothers and sisters, to the community, will be managed properly. And at the beginning of Christianity, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, people had full confidence. So they were not afraid even to sell their houses, their property, bring together and share, and build a new community. Today, it is impossible, correct? We have so many different agents. We have so many people. You know, even if we are afraid sometimes to make donation for charitable tasks because there's so much corruption, correct? So it's very difficult today to live as the first Christian, first followers of Jesus Christ was living. They have completely, completely trust in Jesus, in his teaching, and they were not afraid to follow him. But today... It's a different world. So we have to continue. We have to continue to, you know, dialogue uh, with Jesus, but also among ourselves that will build up this self-confidence and this communal confidence that there is trust. And we have to eliminate from our lives, my dear friends, all, kind, all symptoms of corruption because if, the, if we will not do it, we will not engage, you know, Will be, will be, it will be difficult for us to be reborn, to have a new understanding of Jesus' teaching. And, you know, we're looking at, <coughs> at Catholicism and we're looking at our parishes. Parishes, the churches are empty. People do not come to the church, you know, because, again, they have to be reborn. They have to understand the teaching of Jesus Christ, the original teaching of Jesus Christ, the original. Because over the century, theologians and liturgists, they try to change the, uh, the teaching of Jesus Christ. They try to make the teaching of Jesus and the teaching of God you know, easier so people may follow. But my dear friends, we have to be reborn. We have to be really reborn in such a way that we'll have trust, um, trust and confidence in Jesus Christ. It is the way that we have to rebuild our churches. So let us pray that we'll have more faith, deeper faith, and more confidence in Jesus Christ. Amen.